everyone, Thornton Smash here, and we are over at Keystone enjoying a nice day of snowboarding. Today we're going to be talking about a new update coming to Apex Legends, most notably in the store rotation. We're going to go over all that, we're also going to go ahead and give out a Bloodhound heirloom recolor. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So, we are now two weeks into Apex Legends, and we've got some new stuff going on. Something you guys probably want to know about is today, according to what seems to be the schedule for the Retro Packs for the Battle Pass, Season 13 will be the one returning today. This was the launch season of Newcastle, so you can be seeing this Mad Maggie, this Newcastle Infused skin most likely. They don't seem to be bringing in the reactive Battle Pass skins, so the Spitfire is not probably going to be in the store. That'll probably be something that they actually go ahead and do for Exotic Shards if they ever decide to do it. That also means that, like, Likely next week is going to be season 14. So if you were looking forward to getting any of the ones from the launch of Vantage, which do feature the Caustic one where he kind of looks like Bane, along with Wraith, Horizon, and others, those will probably be about a week out. That being said, there is going to be a new store rotation today. It's going to be Vivid Knights, which features this conduit and the Lifeline stories from the Outland skin slightly recolored, along with the L-Star and some Hollow Sprays. But that's basically what you can be expecting for major skins if you're into skins. I'm not a big skin guy in the game anymore. That that being said, I am looking forward to some more fixes to the game. Last week, Respawn actually put out a couple in case you missed it. They went ahead and addressed several exploits involving the duplicating tactical abilities and heat shields, as well as one involving a skull piercer hop up. They rolled out an update to PC clients only to resolve the shield damage visual clutter. And while the issue isn't as occurring as often on console, we still intend to push the fix for those platforms in the future. We'll let you know as soon as we have an ETA for that. In case you weren't aware of what that is, this is the visual clutter fix right here. And hopefully you haven't had to deal with it because as you can see, it is absolutely horrible and will ruin the game for you. That being said, they did also talk about something in that exact thread, but they didn't actually give an ETA on when it would be fixed. And that is the OG Legend Challenge. And they said that they're still looking into this, but we'll let everyone know when we have a fix ready to roll out. There may have been something since they actually posted that that I may have missed. In case you don't know what that is, for the OG Legend Challenges, you can go ahead and play Launch Royale, and you'll be able to actually earn a free Apex pack. You got to complete all the challenges. The bad news is, well, if they don't have a fix ready to go today or they haven't done one that I missed, Launch Royale actually ends today as it runs till November 19th, 2024. That being said, you'll still be able to play the current Rift mode, which is going to bring in unique weapons and different stylized variants every single week. So today there will be new ones that you can try out if you haven't gotten a chance to look for the loot takes on the map. The one other downside about that mode, however, is well, you can't currently earn badges in that game mode as it is an LTM. There's no traditional trios or duos. So if you've been trying to get your 4K or 20 bomb badge, you might've noticed that, well, you just simply can't do that. Now on their Trello board, they do have a couple of fixes in progress, such as the DOC occasionally cannot be reassigned to and from squad mates and the Akimbo held XP is low in match summary. I find this odd because actually last week, just before that November 15th update, they actually said they fixed some issues with Lifeline's new tactical, school, including it not being correctly assigned to teammates. They also did some stuff with hard combat dummies. Players will not hear the correct wind. The title screen now scales correctly on ultra wide monitors. But if they went ahead and actually did a tweet about it, it doesn't look like they updated their Trello board, which they haven't been that on top of lately. They're investigating. They have damage and recharge causing additional screen clutter, which is investigating. Yet they also, like I said, said that they got the issue resolved. Friends list shows yourself as a friend. No special effects for allies. Mad Maggie ultimate. Founders bad show is locked. Weapon mastery and tracker show different value. Death recap empty after a kill replay. Those have all been there for many, many seasons. So I just don't know who exactly is in charge of updating that, but it seems like they're a little bit behind the curve. Also, something you guys are probably going to want to know is actually in less than a month, we are going to be getting the next milestone event, which is going to be the winter themed one. It does look like Winter Express is coming back. It does feature the Bloodhound Heirloom recolor. So save your shards if you've been waiting for that, along with a reactive Hemlock one as well. This is going to be another milestone event in case you missed it, which I'm kind of bummed about. I'm kind of tired of milestone events, but yeah, that's what they're going with. Speaking of milestone events, we still are currently actually in one. I have no idea why this one is lasting half the season, basically. Basically, but if you were waiting for the Karambit to go ahead and unlock in like a month so you can use your shards or whatever on it, you're going to have to wait a lot longer. I think this was purposely put in so that it lasted so long so players get an issue of FOMO and then they spend money on the game. I think it's a very bad tactic, very much like the milestone events, but this is kind of the direction that EA wants to go with their game. That's pretty much everything you can be expecting in today's update. Hopefully there's more bug fixes. The matchmaking is still, well, the matchmaking. Not to mention ranked matchmaking is also, well, still the ranked matchmaking. But we're going to go ahead and jump into community clips now. Don't forget to submit your own to me on Thornton Smash on Twitter. Shoot me a follow so that I can go ahead and see your clips. 
But without further ado, let's roll it. Help me, shut the fuck up. I have to rest, I have to rest, get in the bottom. No. Right side, right side, I think. Actually, that might be a fucking false calm. That one's right side. Dupes to the rescue. You got bamboozled. You got bamboozled. That one's right side. Oh, look at you. I'm a decoy. I'm a decoy. Will they see me? He's gonna be riding, right? I should heal up. Low health. The fuck did he go? Uh, 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 uh. This guy's a fucking magician. this rest 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 Amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying the aliens. I'll see you out there.